we welcome you to Albert J. Sloan Alumni Stadium in Fairfield, Alabama, where this SIAC on Flow Sports matchup. The West Championship is on the line as the Tuskegee Golden Tigers take on the Miles Golden Bears. Hello, everybody. I'm Kamari Darrington. Tuskegee comes in with a record of 5-4, and 3-2 and two in conference play, coming off of a 40-36 to 36 loss to Central State last week. Miles at 3-6, three 3-2 and three and in conference play, coming off a dramatic 28-27 win against Clark Atlanta last week. So the winner of this game will play for the SWAC Championship and host the SWAC Championship next Saturday. Next Saturday. The, SI, for the SIAC Championship, that will be next Saturday. It will be either here at Miles or at Tuskegee. Starting lineups for the offenses for both teams. For Tuskegee, Ahmad Ramos is the quarterback, number three. Number four, Torian Taylor's in the backfield. Also, Justin Owens is in the backfield for Tuskegee. Wide receivers are Peyton Ramsey and Javaris Cheatham. The tight end is Kendall Calvin. Across the front line, Lowell Richardson is the left tackle. Michael Bentley, the left guard. Nathan Harrison is the center. Ashley Romain is the right guard, and the right tackle is Damar Holmes. Tuskegee's uh, starting offensive one, uh, starting offense. Once again, it's Deramus at the quarterback, and Taylor's the running back, Justice Owens the other running back. Wide receivers are Peyton Ramsey and Javaris Cheatham. Tight end is Kendall Calvin. Left tackle is Lowell Richardson. Left guard, Michael Bentley. Center is Nathan Harrison. Rochelle Romain is the right guard, and Demar Holmes is the right tackle. Here's the Miles front. Here's the Miles offense. Daniel Smith is the quarterback. Justin Hardy, the preseason SIAC Player of the Year, is the running back, along with Montavious Tinch at the H back. Wide receivers: Leonard Tyree and Lee Anthony Robinson. Lee Campbell also is a wide receiver. Across the front line, Theodore. Theodore Victorin is the left tackle. Left guard is Roger Warmack. Center is Sidney Snyder. The right guard is Issa Washington. And the right tackle is Aaron Scroggins. Tuskegee coached by Willie Slater. His 13th season. 115-33 record. Looking to win his 8th SIAC title. Trying to get to the SIAC title game for the fourth time. And for Miles, head coach is Reginald Ruffin, his eighth season, 48-36 record. Miles trying to get back to the SIAC title game for the first time since 2015. It's also looking for its fourth trip to the title game. Let heavy with us here on this Saturday. This is really the only game in conference play today that has any significance as far as the championship. Albany State has already clinched the East title, so they will either travel to Tuskegee or travel to Miles next week. As you can see, Tuskegee will kick off. Miles will receive. Christian Mays and St. T. Marshall are back deep for the Golden Bears. Kicking off will be Dalton Hall, one of the top kickers in the league. So how much does Miles have left after their dramatic come from a high win against Clark Atlanta with the game-winning touchdown reception by Mikael Jacobs and the 35-yard extra point by Jackson Spradlin? to steal a win from Clark Atlanta and then for Tuskegee what is what is its mindset after taking a 40-36 loss to Central State which pretty much forced this one game showdown with their rivals from the north Tuskegee of course in the white with red trim and Miles in all purple big game SIAC West title on the line and we are underway from Fairville. It's coming down towards Marshall. He'll take it from about the 8. Steps towards the middle. Now breaks it across the 25 to the 26-yard line. Tuskegee helmet came off. And so Miles will start things off at around the 26-yard line. Miles 3-6. and six, Actually started the season 0-5. And, and then a couple of dramatic wins. Also had a huge come-from-behind win against Kentucky State. And, of course, they've suffered some tough losses. A two-point loss to Fort Valley State right here. A two-point loss to Morehouse. They lost in the last play. And a one-point loss to Lane. So they've had the gamut of both sides. Four wide receivers, four miles to start things off on this first down. Tinch goes in motion. 
And Smith ready to put in the air on first down. Looking right side, and the pass is almost picked off. Looking towards Pedarius Martin, and that pass incomplete. First incompletion of the ball game for Smith. The Tuskegee team. Number one pass, sorry, number two pass defense at 149, 149 yards a game. Miles, the number three passing offense at over 205 yards per game. Second down and 10. After the incompletion, Hardy in the backfield. Four wide receivers for Miles. And now goes to Hardy, and Hardy is quickly wrapped up. This is a very stingy rush defense. Hardy might have gotten a yard to the 27 yard and actually got no gain on the play at all. So no gain for Hardy. Terrence Leatherwood, one of the top defensive linemen. Also, Devontae Ramser up front for Tuskegee. Hallie James, as well as Sean McGee. So third and 10 for the 26. And we've got a flag on the play. It looked like a false start. It's Martin moved early. Not the way Miles wants to start this game. This is a team that has had to play from behind a lot of games this year. So now third and 15. Three wide outs, four miles. Smith looking over to the sideline. Down the hill and Roderick Stewart on the near side as the cornerback in the safety. Here's Smith on third down, pulls it down, being chased out of the pocket, now throws on the run, pass is caught by Montavious Tinch, and he's able to get to the 36-yard line. It's going to be a first down. So once again, Smith having to make something out of nothing on that play and gets the 15 yards necessary for the first down. So now Miles can work with a little tempo. This is first down of the game for Miles College. As the Golden Bears look to establish something on the first possession of the game. Hardy in the backfield with Smith, four wide receivers. Fake the handoff, Smith, left side, Tench makes the catch. And Tench runs in the hill, out of bounds at the 44-yard line. That's where they'll mark it, eight yards for Tench. So back-to-back -back receptions for Montavious. The junior from Elberton, Georgia. So second down. Already getting in the backfield. Because Miles likes this formation, the four wide outs. They like to spread out the defense, try to give some holes for Hardy. And here's the handoff. Hardy right side, and Ramsher wrapped him up. Right at the 45-yard line. Also in on the stop was Khalil Gray. Got about a yard. Third and three from the 45. And the ski rush defense gives up just less than 100 yards a game on the ground at 99.4. Benedict also has a terrific run defense. Three minutes gone by. Big play here, third and three. Got to get to the th 48. And Smith fakes, throws, passes, complete to Tench again. It's his third reception already. He's out to the 49-yard line. That's going to be a first down. Pick up a four on the play. Second first down for Miles. First possession of the ball game. West Championship on the line. You can see in the background, Tuskegee's Crimson Piper marching band making a late entrance here to the stadium. And off right side to Hardy. And Hardy able to spin into Tuskegee territory. Tackle made by DJ Horn. To the 47 yard line. Four yards for Hardy. Hardy had 121 yards in that 
win last week against Clark Atlanta. He missed three games with an injury. Came back for the Albany State game. Was out after the Alabama A&M game to start the season. On second down, they set up a screen for Hardy. Hardy has room to run. And he'll get a first down as he gets down to the 40-yard line. It's going to be a first down for Justin Hardy. Let Callie James on the stop. Seven yards on the play. Another first down, and Smith so far four for five. Passing. So into Tuskegee territory at the 40-yard line. All right, with his fourth reception of the season. The junior from Homewood. And here's another hand off to Hardy, and Hardy is quickly wrapped up again. It's going to be hard to run straight up the middle against this Tuskegee defense. Hardy gets it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. 11th play of the drive coming up. Five minutes have gone by. So Miles really taking the ball. And a methodical movement here for Miles College. Stick with those same four wide receivers with Hardy in the backfield. Second and nine. Smith surveying his options. Now looking to throw. And under pressure. Watch out. He gets it away. And the pass is incomplete. Justin Hardy was the closest there. Heavy pressure by Ramsher. Looks like Gray was the, the closest defender to the football. And that'll be third and nine. So Smith now four for six. Could, it could have been grounding, I think. The fact that Hardy was in the area and the ball went got to the line of scrimmage um, allowed that not to go down. Third and nine. Here's Smith. Throws. Pass complete to Tinch. There's a flag on the play. Tinch will get the first down. We're going to find out what the flag is all about. I think they got down to the 29-yard line. So right now it's a 10-yard pickup, but Darnell Hill is pointing the opposite direction. Here's the call. Well, maybe Tinch was probably covered up on that play. The eligible man downfield is the call. So it will take it back to the 44-yard line. So second penalty for Miles, and that's a huge penalty because Tinch did get the first down. Slot receiver covering him up. So third down, 9.06 to play here, first quarter. SIAC West title on the line. Miles with the first possession of the ball game and looking to get a third down conversion. Now third and 14. Bears need a 30-yard line for a first down. Smith to throw. Steps up. Surveys. Throws right side. Incomplete. Tried to hit Hardy out of the backfield. And it will bring up fourth down. So that drive comes up empty for Miles in the first possession. Ran almost seven minutes off the clock. Now Jay Fitch in the punt. The freshman from West Blockton, Alabama. And Ladero Petway back deep for Tuskegee. Fitch standing at his 41-yard line. Snap is there. It's a short punt off the side of Fitch's foot, and it's out of bounds near the 30-yard line. See where they mark it. And we'll find out where they mark it here in just a moment. All roads lead to Birmingham for the 2018 SIAC Volleyball Championship from November 5th through the 7th. Follow the SIAC on social media at the SIAC for full coverage. Looks like they'll start the drive at the 30-yard line, so Tuskegee, a long drive, comes up empty for Miles, and Tuskegee will come out with Kenny Gant in the backfield, Ramos along with Owens, 
Madaramis, 300 yards last week in that loss to Central State passing the football. Here's Gant, left side, big hole, watch out, first down and more. And Gant went back to the outside. He actually could have kept going up the field. He's tackled at the 49-yard line, and that is not a good sign for the Miles Rush defense. First down, so Gant goes 19 yards on play number one. It's Tuskegee team averaging 356 yards of total offense per game. That's second in the SIAC. This Miles team, they give up a lot of yards, 382 yards a game. So it really comes down to can Miles' offense sustain some drives and limit the number of opportunities for Tuskegee. Graham is going near the sideline. He's going to call a timeout. First time out for Tuskegee. All eyes are on the Western Division as the champion will earn the chance to host the 7th Annual SIAC Football Championship on November 10th. Fans can visit the www.thesiac.com for official conference and championship game gear. So Miles, 3-6, and six, trying to get to the SIAC title game for the fourth time. As is Tuskegee. In fact, these two teams have combined for all of one appearance in the SIAC title game from the West. The only other team to get to the SIAC title game from the West Division has been Kentucky State. That happened in 2016. Miles 2011, 2013, and 2015. And for Tuskegee, 2012, 2014. Of course, last season when the Tigers went to Fort Valley State and won the championship. This year, the West champion hosts it. Tuskegee looking to be that West champion. Right now has the ball at the 49. First down for the Golden Tigers. Another handoff to Gant. Gant tries the left side, gets around Sarden, and he'll be pushed out of bounds near the 45-yard line. The mark at the 46. Into Miles territory for the first time. So Gant back-to-back -back plays. 24 yards. And quickly into Miles' territory. Interesting about DeRamus, he has a had an Instagram video prior to the season. Had a nice white suit on. Trying to show how much confidence he has in himself. One of the really top uh, flight on social media. DeRamus going up the sideline, incomplete. Tried to hit Justice Owens out of the backfield. And Tuskegee wants a flag, not going to get one. But these Tuskegee fans are not used to five and four records. And uh, it's been an up and down year for Tuskegee. In fact, it's only won back-to-back -back games once. Back-to-back -back wins against Fort Valley State and Kentucky State. That's been it. The other week, they've either won or lost. Look at Tuskegee's record. They lost the season opener to Alabama State. They also have a, a loss to Missouri S&T at home. Doremus over the middle for Cheatham, and Cheatham couldn't hang on. And at the end of the play, like Joe Tillis was there as well. So incomplete pass, and it'll be fourth down. So Miles able to hold Tuskegee. And they got in the territory. Dalton Hall is the punter. Back deep is Lee Anthony Robinson. Hall, 38.4 average, a senior from Hartsville, South Carolina. And Lee Anthony Robinson always dangerous when he has the ball in his hands. Hall's kick going towards the 10 yard line. It will bounce right at the inside the five into the end zone. And they're going to mark it as a touchback. As unfortunately, look like Johnny Fuentes, the long snapper, could not keep it out of the end zone. So Tuskegee and Miles have traded empty possessions to start this ball game. It is a great week for championships here at the SIAC. Of course, this uh, drive for Miles will start at the 20. Cross country championships took place last yesterday at at Rock Hill, and we'll 
tell you a little bit about that after this play. Morehouse, Morehouse men winning it, their third consecutive SIAC title. And the Spring Hill women winning their first SIAC championship in any sport. Smith looking deep and a pass complete. That is Batarius Martin across the 30 to the 31-yard line. So 11 more yards for the Golden Bears. And that'll be the first catch of the game for Padarius Martin. So first down for Miles. Golden Bears 6.30 to play here in the first quarter. No score. Pivotal game here. That's AC West title on the line. Here comes Hardy. Testing the right side and a big hit as he got to the 30-yard line. He was able to spin forward. Terrence Leatherwood. Well, that sounds like a defensive end's name, isn't it? Terrence Leatherwood. Second down and 10. You have to thank you for Justin Hardy. It is going to be tough to run the football. And so far, five carries for six yards. Second and 10. Four wideouts again. Hardy now goes to the left side. Able to squirt through a hole. Gets out to the 34-yard line. Another tackle for Devontae Ramger. Also there, Ricky Norris. At three, this will be third down and six. Miles has had an up and down year. Like I said, started off 0-5. It's won three of his last four. Put itself in position to win, but they've had some close losses along the way and almost suffered another one last week. They've had some heart-wrenching finishes throughout the year. Here comes Smith on third down and a great tackle. Once again, Terrence Leatherwood. Tackle Smith at the 34-yard line. Smith tried to keep it. And Leatherwood was right there. Leatherwood, the senior from Northport, Alabama. Came in with six sacks on the season. From the top sack players in the SIAC. Quick snap on the punt here from Fitch. And this one is out of bounds. This is another short punt. One, two bad punts here for Fitch. Start the ball game. You don't want to give Tuskegee any good field position because the way the nature of the offense for Tuskegee and the defense for Miles. And they're going to start this one at the 50. So excellent field position for Tuskegee. Going back to the cross-country championship. Bennett actually finished tied with Morehouse, but Morehouse got the tiebreaker because of the, the best finish by the fifth runner for each side. And Raymond Corder of Central State is the SIAC men's runner of the year. First down, Owens gets the handoff, and he'll get about three yards out of the 47-yard line. First carry for Owens. Owens, a senior from Alexandria, Alabama. Spring Hill women, of course, this is the first year of full participation in the NCAA, moving up from the NAIA, school out of Mobile. And Craig McVeigh, the Spring Hill coach, was the coach of the year on the women's side. Congratulations to Spring Hill winning its first conference championship in any sport. Here's the pitch out to Gant. Gant with room to run, and he's pushed out of bounds by Maxell Wells. Gant picks up three more. It'll be third down at the 44. They kind of get a feeling, both teams kind of feeling each other out, seeing where they can find some gaps. Raymond's only thrown two passes so far. So we got third and four. Three twenty left here in the first quarter. And we got a direct snap, and that is stalled up. Marquez Burdett came in. 
And Burdett lost a yard, so good job by this Miles defense. And again, neither team really getting much on the ground offensively. Again, had the one big 19-yard run on the first play. Call back to punt again, and Robinson standing back at his own 10-yard line. Went there's a long step on the last punt, almost got back there. Here's Hall's punt. And Robinson's going to try to run this one back. Here he's at the 10-yard line. Tries to reverse his field. He has room to run up the sideline. Watch out. And Lee Anthony Robinson cuts it back across midfield. One man to beat. Can he get there? He's gone. No flags. 90 yards. Touchdown, Miles. Lee Anthony Robinson goes all the way. And Miles is on the scoreboard. Anthony has been trying to break one all season, and he does it in the most important game of the year. Ninety-yard punt return. Give Miles six points. Spradlin in to try the extra point. Kick is up, and it is good. Like it almost went off the upright. So Lee Anthony Robinson takes it coast to coast, 90 yards for the touchdown. And Miles has a 7-0 lead on Tuskegee. You're watching SIAC Football on Flow Sports. Lee Robinson puts a charge in the crowd here at Miles. The band getting up there the 90 yard punt return touchdown miles with a 7 nothing lead on Tuskegee trying to earn its fourth SIAC West title Spradlin's kick is angling towards the sideline that's going to go out of bounds I believe it is and looks like miles like Tuskegee is going to get field position again so special teams coming into play as this important game of the SIAC goes on We'll give you updates on the other four conference games going on. And uh, now discussion with Willie Slater as they're doing that. U.S. Best News recently released its list of the top 10 HBCUs. And four SIAC schools were in the top 15. Eight were in the top 50. The SIAC prides itself on being a league whose institutions develop strong minds geared for success through self-actualization. Building tradition with the future. Since 1913, this is the SIAC, and we play hard. So the kick goes out of bounds. It was close. It looked like we're now about the two-yard line. So again, Tuskegee with good field position, but now trailing 7 nothing. Tuskegee. 48 and 14 all-time record in the series with Miles. Last year, Tuskegee won at home 50 to 20. On his way to the SIC West title, here's Gant. Gant able to keep his feet. Goes out near midfield. Gant with another big run. It's 15 more yards and another first down. Andrew Walker made the stop, but not before Gant got the first down. The first down for the Golden Tigers. Well, they were a few moments ago, right at midfield. Tuskegee at times has struggled offensively to move the ball. They've had some games where they've had less than 200 yards of total offense. It's not the time to have it here. Here's Gant trying to get to the outside. He does. And Gant gets out to the 42-yard line. So into Miles' territory, eight more yards for Gant. So Gant off to a terrific start. Already five carries for 50 yards. Got eight more that time. So Gant has come in. They usually like to start with Taylor, but today they start with Kenny Gant. And Gant has delivered so far. Second and two. Cheatham comes to the bottom. Ramsey at the top. Owens and Gant in the backfield with Doremus. And it again, again. Gant gets to the outside. Watch out. Inside the 35. Gets a block downfield from Cheatham. And he's all the way down to the 27-yard line. A market at the 26, so another big run for Gant. That's tw that's 16 more, and that's going to be a first down. 
So Gant has just come out blazing here. First six carries, 66 yards. Golden Tigers already down to the 26-yard line. Just in three plays. So you get the kick out of bounds, a 15-yard run, an 8-yard run, and a 16-yard run, and here they are knocking on the red zone. And here's Phillip Brown. Phillip Brown just tripped up. Get down to the 22-yard line. So Brown with his first carry. The sophomore from Bessemer. Four yards for Brown. Second down and six. Final seconds of the first quarter. Could be the final play of the quarter. Barring a defensive penalty. Down to three. Down to two. They get the play off. High snap. Able to get it to Brown. Brown spins inside the 20, breaking tackles all the way down to the 16-yard line. And that will be the final play of the first quarter. So Tuskegee will have a first and 10 at the 16. Right now, Miles off that 90-yard punt return touchdown from Lee Anthony Robinson. 7-0 over Tuskegee. You're watching SIAC Football on Flow Sports. Second quarter about to get underway here. Miles with a 7-0 lead. On Tuskegee, the SIAC West Championship is on the line. The winner of this game will host the title game next Saturday. Hosting Albany State. Albany State winning the East title with that win last week. Dramus hands off to Brown, and Brown is hit in the backfield. And taken down like Darian Polnitz was there. In on the stop. No gain on the play and bring up second down. Tuskegee at 78 yards all on the ground. Graham is 0 for 2 to start the game. Miles with 53 yards, 44 yards through the air. So one by air, the other by sea, I guess you can say. There's Doremus now looking up top, going for Cheatham in the corner. Incomplete, a lot of hand grabbing. And both sides want a flag. <laughs> Neither one getting it. Doremus now 0 for 3. And will bring up third down from the 16-yard line. Looks like Roberts and Brad Horn are coming in for pass rushing purposes. Got to get down to the 6-yard line. Brown and Owens in the backfield. Third down. Play clock running down to two. Off the play fake. Durham is looking to throw under pressure. Pass is caught. That is Petway down to the 14. It's only going to pick up two yards. It's going to force a it's going to force a field goal attempt. Huskick Arnons to come on. Freshman from Jacksonville, 4 for 9 on the season, along with 35. This one is coming from 31 yards from the right hash mark. Tuskegee trying to break the scoring column. Snap is down. Kick is on the way. And it is no good off to the right. So the field goal attempt, attempt sails wide to the right. And Miles holding on to the 7-0 lead. It'll have it at its own 20 to start the next possession. 13-29 to play here in the second quarter. The SIAC is the first NCAA league to have a league-wide apparel deal with Nike. Fans can get official Nike conference gear at the www.thesiac.com or official school gear at the BSN Sideline store at sideline.bsnsports.com Not a great gear. SIAC football winding down this week. The winner of this game plays Albany State for the championship next Saturday. Miles on first down. Play fake. Smith going deep. Throws it up for grabs, and it's intercepted. Rorick Stewart with the interception, and now he's going to try to return it. He's inside the 30, and he's taken down at the 30-yard line. A huge mistake there, Smith, with the interception. 
first turnover of the game. Oric Stewart came into the game with four interceptions. That's his fifth of the season. And Tuskegee will have it once again in prime field position. So Smith, I don't know if he was trying to throw it deep and just couldn't get enough on it or if the wind got hold of it. But looked like he might have just lost it and it just floated in the air. And Stewart, like Mookie Betts out in center field from the Boston Red Sox, able to come up with that football. Red Sox, of course, won the World Series. That's why Mookie Betts came into my head. But in any event, from the 30-yard line, here's the handoff to Gant. Gant right side first. Alan Moore. Kenny Gant inside the 15. Down to the 9-yard line. 21 more yards for Kenny Gant. Gant has come out here on a mission. The junior from Tampa. He's going to be first and goal for the Golden Tigers. 87 yards on seven carries. Five of his seven carries have gone for four of his seven carries have gone for 15 yards or more. Started out with a 19-yard run. So Gann has just gashed this Miles defense. The Ramos play fake. End zone. Touchdown, Peyton Ramsey. The Golden Tigers get on the scoreboard. And Ramsey. Gets his third touchdown reception of the season. It's the sixth, 17th touchdown pass of the year for Maduramus. So Tuskegee taking quick advantage of the interception by Stewart. And goes 30, play, 30 yards in just two plays. Arnis to try the extra point. Snap down, kick on the way, and the kick is good. So we are tied up at seven. Peyton Ramsey, nine-yard touchdown reception. Game is tied at seven for the SIAC West title. You're watching SIAC football on Flow Sports. Tuskegee and Miles tied at seven. Peyton Ramsey, the nine-yard touchdown reception. And the Crimson Piper marching band in the background. This kick coming down to the 15-yard line. Here is Christian Mays. And Mays gets across the 25 to the 27-yard line. Flow Sports is the innovator in live digital sports and original content. Flow Sports streams thousands of live events on the network's 20-plus channels. Go to www.flowsports.tv to start watching today. Flow Sports will exclusively stream over, the, over 50 SIAC football and basketball games this season. Final week of regular season play in the SIAC. Winner of this game hosts Albany State next Saturday for the championship. This drive starting from the miles on 27. Tension getting going in motion. First down, here's Hardy, and Hardy is rocked hard. Khalil Gray shot the gap and just unloaded on Hardy. Hardy is able to get to the 29-yard line. Once again, this Tuskegee defense, this has been their calling card since Willie Slater has come over. And they have a high-powered offense, but it's this defense that has been what has made Tuskegee one of the tougher programs in Division II. Second and eight. Off the play fake. Smith throws. Tench open again. Hill is right there. And Tench will be held up. And they'll mark it at the 34-yard line. So Tench has come through early. Five more for Tench. That's his fourth catch already. 31 yards. Smith now six for 10 for 49 yards. Of course, had the one interception moments ago. Third and three, got to get to the 37. And Smith off the play fake. Got the first down and dives down to the 41-yard line. Good fake by Smith. We've seen Smith score off that play a couple of times. Seven yards for Smith, his second carry. And first down for Miles at the 41. It's got to be... Good to get that first down coming right off of that 
that drive by Tuskegee, short drive. And again, Smith off the fake, throws right side. Tyree wasn't quite ready for it. Tyree has been the big play specialist for Miles this season. Tyree, the team's leading receiver at 529 yards, eight touchdowns for Tyree. If not for Kevin Greenhow at Central State, Lynn Tyree might be getting some consideration. One of the best receivers in the SIAC. Greenhow has been on a tear. Second down and 10. Tyree starting motion. Smith to throw. Steps up. Now throws deep. Hardy is open. He's got it inside the 30. And he's tackled by DeVoris Thomas at the 20-yard line. And we've got everybody's walking back. Got a flag at the line of scrimmage. On the far side of the field. And this might be coming back. And they're bringing everybody back. Let's see what the call is here. Is that the 24? So right now that would be. Well, a, so it would have been a 35-yard reception, but line judge threw it. And it might have been legal motion. Let's find out. Now they wave it off. Well, well, Tyree, if it's a, it would have been a legal motion, but you know, Tyree, he didn't go up the field. You know, he stayed, he stayed, he stayed where he was at. He kind of ran in place. But it would have. But in any event, it is a first down for Miles College at the 24-yard line. That is a 35-yard reception for Justin Hardy. Oh, wow. Illegal formation is the call. So now they're going to actually bring it back. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. So wipe away the 35-yard reception. The, the call was illegal formation. So uh, Reginald Ruffin, Reginald Ruffin is going to get an explanation. Now, Tyree went in motion. I don't know if the call is against him. Or if it was uh, a form, but it was a formation issue. There were too many men in the backfield. That, well, that's usually what legal formation is. That's, that's that was the call. So after all that madness, it is second down and fifteen. Hardy up the middle, so Miles fans aren't going to be happy about that result, but that was the correct call. It does get two yards after the 38-yard line, 37-yard line. So third down, so Miles looked like it was knocking on the door of the red zone, and then referee took it all back. That'll be one to be talked about. Third down. Oh, that should be a legal snap. The center moved the football and caused the defender to jump. So I think that's going to be against Miles. Let's see what this call is all about. I could see it. The So, our producer slash analyst James Crenshaw telling me that it was uh, Tuskegee that moved first. So it's five more yards for Tus for Miles. It takes it to the 42 yard line, and we're right back near the original line of scrimmage. Take another look at it. 
I thought the center moved the ball and then Tuskegee moved. But in any event, that's why I'm up here and not down there in the striped shirt. Third and nine is is the down and distance now. Got to get to the Tuskegee 49 for a first down. 9.43 to play second quarter. A lot of big plays in this first half. Four wideouts. And again, so moving. And watch out. Well, the left guard was not happy about getting hit in the face right there. Nate Williams, the redshirt sophomore from Atlanta. Had a had a moment right there. Jumped early and then So now we're back to third and fourteen. Four penalties for 20 yards for Miles. Smith looking to throw. Under pressure. Gets it away. And Mark, oh, almost intercepted also by Hill. Two guys had a chance at it. Martin, it was too high for him. Hill came in sliding and just couldn't come up with it. And so that was a wacky possession, but it ends. It will end in a Miles punt. Somehow, some way, it ends in a Miles punt. I'll just say they want every possession to end with a kick. This is Jake Anderson punting, and Ladero Petway makes the fair catch at the 27 yard line. The inductees for the 2019 Black College Football Hall of Fame class of 2019 were announced yesterday, and the SIAC has a representative, Hugh Douglas, former defensive end at Central State, 92 to 94. So Central State was in the NAIA. Douglas. 42 sacks in 32 games with the Marauders, led the Marauders to the 1992 NAIA National Championship and then played 10 seasons in the NFL, mostly with the Philadelphia Eagles. Also started his career with the Jets. Three-time Pro Bowler and two-time All-Pro. So congratulations to him. There were eight inductees. There were seven inductees, Hugh Douglas, from the SIAC. So this drive starts from the 28th. Doremus looking to throw. Right side, and it's too high for Justice Owens. It is incomplete. Emerson Boozer running back from Maryland Eastern Shore. Rich Tombstone Jack Jackson, defensive end from Southern. There were two Southern representatives. Frank Lewis, wide receiver from Grambling. Timmy Newsom, running back, Winston-Salem State. Of course, great John Taylor, great wide receiver, not only Delaware State, but all those great years with the San Francisco 49ers. And Arnett Ace Mumford, former head coach at Southern. Five black national championships and 11 SWAC championships at Southern. Again, with the carry this time, out to the 31 yard line. Roberts on the start, on the stop. Again, with 90 yards on eight carries in this first half. He has been really the really the entire offense for Tuskegee. Another third down coming up here for Tuskegee. Ramsey comes to the bottom. Cheatham and Chardy Char Char and Johnson at the top. Ramos the throw. Roberts with the pressure. The throw. Bounces into Cheatham. Are they going to give him the catch? No, they will not. Cheatham could not quite get there in time. And Cheatham still without a catch. Fourth down. And it'll be another punt. Haul back the punt. And Robinson already has a 90-yard punt return touchdown standing in his own 35. So three and out for Tuskegee. And Hall tried to kick it away from Robinson, but Robinson will have room to run here. Catches at the 31, goes straight up the field. And this time they wrap him up at the 39-yard line. So that's where Miles will start this possession. 7.48 left to play here in the second quarter. So we've got a 90-yard punt return touchdown for Miles. 
A nine-yard touchdown reception by Peyton Ramsey for Tuskegee. And as you might expect, a game where a championship is on the line. Call this a semifinal, if you will, in the SIAC championship race. Tied at seven, about the midway point of the second quarter. First down, Hardy gets the handoff. Breaking tackles, breaks it to the outside. Justin Hardy gets a block from Smith, and he's out of bounds at the 41-yard line of Tuskegee. Justin Hardy. That one good for 20 yards, and that's going to be a first down for Hardy. So Hardy, first time he has broken out. And Miles again in Tuskegee territory. Miles has actually had three punts and an interception offensively, but, of course, Robinson's 90-yard punt return is the score for Miles. Here's Hardy trying to bounce his way inside, and the flag comes in late. Let's see what the flag is. Hardy got back to the 39-yard line. Let's find out what the flag is before anything else goes down. Roger Womack, Womack, the junior from Birmingham. So take off of the two-yard run for Hardy. And they'll mark it all the way back at the Miles 44-yard line. So it'll be second down. Well, well that play was first down. I wonder if that they will stay first down after that. Officials discussing it. So we'll mark it at the 44. So first and 25 after the flag. Tuskegee coming off of a loss to Central State 40 to 36 last week. Miles coming off a 28-27 win over Clark Atlanta last week. And now game tied at 7. First and 25, Tench goes in motion. Another handoff to Hardy. Hardy testing the right side. Runs into Stewart and won the flag for a face mask. Not going to get one. He's tackled out of midfield. Six yards for Hardy. Take one more look at it. Looks like, looks like Stewart got into the earlobe, that probably should be something up around the head. So no call there. Second down. Hardy spins. And Ramsher and Leatherwood to the 48-yard line. So into Tuskegee territory. Now third and long. Third and 17. Got to get to the 31 for a first down. Actually gave Hardy three yards on that last play. Hardy 11 carries for 42 yards. Smith off the play fake. Throws. Wide open. Complete. That is the De DeAndre Fagan. And Fagan gets it to the 36-yard line. His first reception of the game. That one good for 12 yards. It's going to be fourth down. And looks like offense is going to go for it here. Fourth and five. Miles just one for five on fourth downs this season. What are they going to try to just draw Tuskegee off sides? It's kind of that no man's land where you don't really want to punt, but you're also it's too far for a field goal. 5-10 to play here in the, in the second quarter. Five on the play clock. And Smith going to try to throw for it under pressure. Gray now throws it, coming back to it, and incomplete. Tried to hit, I believe, Hardy. Uh, after that, so that's going to be Malik Campbell. So a turnover on downs for Miles. And a good job by the Tuskegee defense. Tuskegee had actually given up 8 of 15 fourth down conversions coming into today's game. But 
now at 50%. So Tuskegee will start this drive at its own 36-yard line after the turnover on downs. Like we expected, these two teams, two great rivals, longtime rivals in the SIAC. Of course, Tuskegee holding a, a huge edge, but this game has meant so much over the last decade as far as SIAC titles are concerned. Ramos off the play fake on first down over the middle. Pass wide open, complete to Justice Owens. And Owens is sent head over heels at the 49-yard line. C.J. McClellan and Jerry Shade made the stop, but not before a 15-yard reception for Owens. Third completion for Doremus. First down. And the same formation we've seen throughout the game. Another fake. Doremus going deep. Going for Cheatham. And Cheatham, it's incomplete. And again, no flag. And again, the Tuskegee fans in an uproar on the far sideline. It's like Wells was on the coverage. But Cheatham still without a catch in this game. Cheatham was the leading receiver. 592 yards and eight touchdowns coming into today's game. So far in this first half. Wells a little, a little hold there on the side. Not detected or apparently the referee did not feel it was warranted of a flag. So thir uh, it is second down and 10. Ramos again to play fake over the middle. That's Peyton Ramsey. Big hit, but Ramsey held, holds on. And he's down to the 28-yard line. That's going to be a first down. Joe Tillis on the stop. 21 yards for Ramsey. His second catch of the game. Had the nine-yard touchdown reception earlier. So Tuskegee now into Miles' territory. These two defenses have... Giving up some plays, but just the one touchdown for offensive touchdown for Tuskegee. These two defenses have done a pretty good job. First down to the 28. Hand off to Gant. Gant, big hole right side. Inside the 20. Cuts it back and falls down at the 12-yard line. Kenny Gant. What a first half for Kenny Gant. He's over 100 yards. Down to the 12. That's 16 more for Kenny Gant. That was his ninth carry of the first half. And Ramos going over to the sideline. Tuskegee in the red zone this season. 22 of 36 in scores. 61%. And we'll have a timeout. The National Basketball Players Association Foundation has announced a significant donation to the SIAC to provide new Nike uniforms and apparel for the men's and women's basketball teams of all SIAC member colleges and universities. Former NBA players such as Daryl Walker, George Lynch, Jarvis Hayes, and Kenny Anderson have been a part of this initiative. And also the SIAC partners with the M MBPA, which is HBCU Top 50 Camp, with scouts from several NBA teams come to support SIAC Athletics. So 3.07 to play here, second quarter. Tuskegee at the 12-yard line, first and 10. Graham is so far, four for nine for 47 yards. Can he get nine carries for 106 yards? Peyton Ramsey, two receptions for 30 yards for Tuskegee offense. Let's update on some other scores in the SIAC. Central State with a 45-22 win over Lane, so Central State finishes 5-5 five five on the season. Benedict up 18-0 on Kentucky State in the fourth quarter. And Albany State trying to finish unbeaten in conference play up 16-6 on Fort Valley State. Here's Gant, cuts it back inside the 10. Down to the 9-yard line. Be second down. So those are the other four games going on today. And, of course, Morehouse 
taking on Clark Atlanta. And Clark Atlanta with a 27 lead on Morehouse late in the third quarter. So Clark Atlanta, somebody probably rooting for Clark Atlanta because they have had so many close losses this season. But a very talented group down there in Atlanta. Ramos going for the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown, Peyton Ramsey. And he lets Maxwell Wells know what he thinks about it. Nine-yard reception. And Ramsey has two today. Tuskegee has its first lead of the game. So Arns comes in for the extra point. Extra point is up and good. So Peyton Ramsey with his second reception of the game, 2.22 to play in the second quarter. Tuskegee up 14-7 on Miles. You're watching SIAC Football on Flow Sports. Two twenty-two to play here, second quarter. Hall ready to kick off. Robinson back deep along with Marshall. This is coming coming down to Santee Marshall. Marshall has it at the eleven. Breaks it to the outside. Watch out, Santee Marshall in the open field. One man left to beat, and he's down towards the forty-five yard line. So another big return in special teams for Miles. Santee Marshall, the backup running back. And Miles will start this drive in plus territory. Got a 39-yard return there. So nearly a 40-yard kickoff return. And Miles in business here. 2-12 left here in the second. Tuskegee will get the ball to start the, th the third quarter. After these two bands, the Crimson Piper marching band for Tuskegee and a purple marching machine for Miles, take the field. First down at the 40-yard line, so they actually gave him five yards on the offside penalty. And here's Smith to throw. Pulls it down, throws, incomplete, almost intercepted. Try to hit Marshall out of the backfield. Smith now 7 for 16 for 61 yards. And has an interception in the game. Second down from the 40. Empty backfield again. Tuskegee rushes four. Quick throw and Jacobs... The hero from last week, unable to come up with that one. It's going to be third down. Gray was right there ready to meet him. So two plays take 10 seconds off the clock. And it's third down. Miles really needs a positive play here as we near halftime. It's been, it's been that big run by Robinson. Big punt return. Third and 10 from the 40. Smith looking. Left side. Incomplete. Campbell slipped down. And quickly three and out for Miles College. So not a drive that Miles wanted. Three straight passes, three straight incompletions. Surprised it didn't take a shot down the field. Coming off of that big punt return. Anderson with another punt. This will go inside the 10 and too far. And that will be a touchback. So Tuskegee has it as its own 20. 148 to play here, second quarter. And Tuskegee has one timeout remaining. Miles has three. So. If Miles can get a three and out, they could get another shot before the end of the half. 
Kind of a halftime performance from both bands. Of course, it's senior day here at Miles College. And then we'll also update you on the scores in the SIAC today. Of course, Central State with the 45-22 win over Lane. Right now, Benedict still on top of Kentucky State, 18 to nothing. Albany State on top of Fort Valley State, 16 to six. That's in the third quarter. And Clark Atlanta, and more, and Clark Atlanta, 26-10 on Morehouse. Gain again, right side, and pushed out of bounds by Keon Wheeler. And they'll mark it at the 25-yard line. Five more yards for Gant. Kentucky State trying to trying to avoid a winless season. 0-9 coming into today, and unfortunately, it is not looking good right now. Going up against one of the top teams in the SAAC, Benedict. You got to think next season. Benedict's right there at winning this East Division. Albany State won. Albany State won the division title. Here's Gant, big hole again. Gant cuts it back. To the 35-yard line. That's going to be another first down. And it was a popular pick to win the East. Albany State was picked to finish first. I think Benedict was picked to finish second by the media. And uh, went exactly the way that people thought. Ramos now throwing, and that's too high for Cheatham. It would have been too high for Shaquille O'Neal. Cheatham is 6'4", but he's not 7'4". Ramos now 5'4", 11. Does have two touchdown passes. That one a bit high. Got to think both of these quarterbacks are juiced up. Two of the top quarterbacks and top, two of the top passers in the SIAC coming into today's game. And of course, with everything on the line, you got to think both of these quarterbacks want a big hand in what happens in the outcome of today's game. Second and 10 from the 35, 117 left. Dramus over the middle, pass in on almost intercepted. Terry Beckham was a couple of inches away from an interception. I mean, third down, and I tell you, Tuskegee, Pat, throwing the football. I mean, they get the ball to start in the third quarter. I'm a little surprised that they went for that pass right there. wonder, I thought maybe you get another score before the half, but you're going to give Miles an opportunity. They're going to have three timeouts. They throw another pass and incomplete it. There's going to be plenty of time on the clock. got to think this is probably going to be a run, but you never know with Tuskegee. Gant gets the carry, and goes a big hole up the middle. Big first down for Tuskegee. Look at Gant pushing the pile all the way to midfield. Kenny Gant. And we got a flag at the end of the play. 15 more yards. Would be a first down, but one of they're going to have some extra stuff after the play. We went to Lane a few weeks ago. Gant did not touch the ball that much. He only had it four times. It's personal like conduct penalty, so that will mark it all the way back to the 35, so. Cordary Smith, senior from Columbus, Georgia, making a mistake there. So it's going to be first down. So basically, we're back to where we started that last play. Under a minute to play here in the first half. Tuskegee up 14-7 on Miles. Doreen is back to throw. Left side, got hit as he throws, and there's a first catch for Cheatham. Cheatham trying to cut it back inside, and he gets down near the 45-yard line. They'll stop it at the 44. So first reception for the Tigers' leading receiver, C.J. McClellan, made the stop. 
Nine yards, second and a yard. Final half minute of the first. And we're gonna have a timeout by Tuskegee. All roads lead to Birmingham for the 2018 SIAC Volleyball Championship from November 5th through the 7th. Follow the SIAC on social media at the SIAC for full coverage. And all eyes are on the Western Division as the champion will earn the chance to host the 8th Annual SIAC Football Championship on November 10th. Fans visit www.thesiac.com for official conference and championship game gear. 22 seconds to play here before halftime, 14-7. Tuskegee with two touchdown receptions by Peyton Ramsey. Miles actually was first on the scoreboard after a 90-yard punt return touchdown from Lee Anthony Robinson. And for Miles, got to be thinking that they can get a stop right here, get a stop on that next possession. He has a lot of momentum. Second in the yard. Gant again. Left side. First down. And he's out of bounds at the 46-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup. Kenny yeah. Gant. 14 carries for nearly 150 yards to start this game. What a first half for Kenny Gant. Miles doesn't have an answer for him. It's going to be a long afternoon for the fans here in Fairfield. Doremus looking deep down the middle. Has a man caught by Petway and then got rocked. And we got a flag on the play. Kendra Walker. That should be a hit on defensive receiver. And that's going to give first down. What a great job, though, by Petway to hold on to that football. It's going to be an 18-yard reception. And Petway earned that 18-yard reception. That is it was a big hit by Walker. And, and uh, let's see what they do here. Wow. Well, Tuskegee fans aren't going to be happy about that, but Petway does get the catch. 18-yard reception. So final seconds of the first half. We've had some, some miles calls timeout now. We've had some close games this season. The SIAC, we saw Fort Valley State come here and get a two-point win. Then the following week, we had Miles and Morehouse at the Chicago Football Classic. I'm sorry to the Miles fans for reminding them of all these games. But well, Morehouse got the last second touchdown. Next day, we're in South Carolina. Saw Benedict get an eight-point win over Fort Valley State. Then October 13th, at Atlanta, Benedict got a three-point win. Over Clark Atlanta, two blocked field goals in the final five minutes to preserve that win. And, of course, last week, Miles finally got one going their side, that big 28-yard reception by Mikhail Jacobs, which I've seen on replay 100,000 times since last week because I still can't believe that Clark Atlanta did not come up with that football. And, of course, here we're on our way to a potential finish that way. But of course, Tuskegee trying to put some more points on the board before the end of the half. Could be the final play of the first half, barring a penalty. Doremus looking to throw. Down the middle. Has Owens, and it's incomplete. Austin Stevens, great coverage. Stevens known for his prowess in tackling. Did a good job right there. So now we're going to attempt a field goal here. His arms will come out. Ramos will hold. It's going to be a 45-yard attempt from the middle. And barring a defensive penalty, this will be the final play of the first half. Miles calls timeout, second of the half, coming up at halftime. We'll watch the performances from both bands and also get you up to date on things going on in the SIAC today with the final regular season game. There's Albany State looking for its seventh straight win. The Found City Classic. This is 
rivalry weekend, of course. Morehouse of Clark, Atlanta, big matchup. Atlanta University Center down there. And Found City Classic with Albany State and Fort Valley State. And here this great longtime rivalry between Miles and Tuskegee. Arns on to attempt a 45-yard kick. Miles has one more timeout remaining. Tuskegee's out of timeouts. Arns missed from 31 earlier. Final play of the half. Snap is down. Kick is on the way. And he knocks it through. So Husky Arns from 45 yards out makes it a 17-7 lead at the half. Peyton Ramsey, three receptions for 34 yards. Maya Ramos with two touchdown receptions. And Kenny Gant, 10, 14 carries for 149 yards in that first half. When we come back, we will have the Tuskegee Crimson Piper Marching Band. It is taking the field right now. You're watching SIAC Football on Flow Sports. Back here at Fairfield, Albert J. Sloan Alumni Stadium, hitting the field as the Battle of Bands begins. Tuskegee Crimson Piper Marching Band. Enjoy.
here in Fairfield, Alabama. SIAC West Championship is on the line. Tuskegee holding a 17-7 lead on Miles. Winner of this game will host Albany State next Saturday for the SIAC Championship. The first half offensively was dominated by Tuskegee. Tuskegee with 244 total yards in the first half. Miles had 110. Justin Hardy leading the rushers for Miles, 42 yards on 11 carries. Daniel Smith at this point, 7 of 18 for 61 yards and an interception. Tavius Tinch, four receptions for 31 yards to leave the receivers. Only score for Miles, a 90-yard punt return touchdown for Lee Anthony Robinson. That happened back in the first quarter. Meanwhile, for Tuskegee, scoring all 17 points in that second quarter. Two nine-yard touchdown receptions from Peyton Ramsey. Ramsey with three catches for 39 yards in the first half. Madaramus, 7 of 15 for 83 yards and those two touchdowns. What a first half for Kenny Gant, the running back. He didn't have any scores, but he's got 149 yards on 14 carries. Kenny Gant has really come out and has been on a mission. They have not done anything to stop Kenny Gant, and that's going to be a huge key as we get ready for this second half. Once again, Miles, all of those close losses that they've had these last this season, but the last two wins they've gotten, the one against... Of course, Clark Atlanta, then they got a, a last-second win against Kentucky State. They've been able to come from behind. Miles actually had an 11-point lead last week that they gave up. Last 17 unanswered from Clark Atlanta. And then that final drive ending with a Mikhail Jacobs touchdown. Jacobs without a catch today. Of course, for Tuskegee, trying to get back-to-back -back wins for the second time this season. Trying to improve to 6-4. Look at a team like Tuskegee, their goal, not just to win the SIAC, but to make it to the Division II playoffs. And then the top six in the Super Region get to goal. Of course, we have the Gulf South Conference in Division II. Gulf South Conference, probably the, the toughest conference in Division II, although teams usually, when they get to the Final Four, they end up playing one of the tough teams, Northwest Missouri State. is always one of those teams that comes out. But, so Tuskegee, they win today and they win next week. Possibly could sneak in to one of those seven spots to get to the Division II tournament. Because Albany State also is in the mix for that spot. Benedict Morehouse, based on how they played this year, of course. Miles Benedict will not get an opportunity to play in the SIAC championship, so that hurts their chances. But right now, all these two teams are thinking about is winning the SIAC West. And we've got 30 minutes left to decide that. Jackson Spradlin will kick off. Tuskegee get the ball to start the third quarter. And this, I believe this is a big defensive possession for Miles. Miles wants to get back in this game because the way Kenny Gant is running the football, it is... They did not do something to slow him down. It is going to be tough to get back into the ball game. Great to have you with us once again. Our final stream of the SIAC on Flow Sports. And here's the kick. We're going toward the sideline again and again. A kick goes out of bounds. And that is not a good start for Miles in the third quarter. So Tuskegee should get it at the 35-yard line. It's another penalty against Miles. Be interesting to see how Tuskegee comes out. I've got a, I got a feeling, you know, they can sense. They've got Miles on the ropes, coming out of the second half. Kenny Gannon has just been gashing Miles' run defense throughout the game. I gotta think they're gonna have a heavy dose of Kenny Gannon here in the second half. Golden Tigers start the possession at 35. Up by 10. Three receivers, Owens and Gant in the backfield. Dramus throwing on first down, out to swing it out to Gant. Gant with a lot of room to run up the sideline. Kenny Gant 
once again making plays out of the 48-yard line, 13 yards. And Gant again putting his stamp on this game. First reception for Gant today. Another first down for Tuskegee. Same formation, three receivers. Owens flanked to the left of Deramus. Now Gant gets the carry. Left side and cut down. Nice tackle. Important tackle right there. Like Nick, Nick Tavius Floyd on the stop. First time that Gant has not had positive yardage on the run. That's the 15th carry of the game. So second down. Forty-eight, three wide receivers again, same formation. This time Owens goes to the right side. Here's Durham, it's the throw. Left side, pass is caught by Cheatham. Cheatham inside the 35, and he's down to the 32. Maxwell Wells on the coverage, but that's another first down. First down at the 32-yard line, that's 20 yards. And Tuskegee again in plus territory. Second catch for Cheatham. Graham is now 9 of 17. Gant gets the handoff, left side, and good tackle this time. Jerry Shade came up from his safety spot to make the stop, along with Austin Stevens. Just got a yard, second down. Calvin comes in on the tight ends for Tuskegee. Two minutes gone by in the third quarter. Tuskegee first drive of the second half. Trying to add to its 10-point lead. Doremus the throw. Left side. Looking for Owens. He's got it. At the 10-yard line. Jerry Shade could not get there in time. It's going to be first and goal Tuskegee at the 9. Twenty two yards on the play. They tried that a couple of times with Owens and they haven't been able to get haven't been able to complete it. This time they do. Down the sideline. Burdett in the game now with the gets the direct snap. And he will try to sweep to the right side, cuts it back. Down to the seven yard line. Burdett his second carry. Second and goal. Boy, Miles going down 17 would be very, very difficult. The way this Tuskegee defense operates, they've not got much out of its running game. Golden Tigers looking to punch one in and really put Miles in a stranglehold. Burdett up the middle, inside the five to the goal line. Actually stopped at the one. That gets down to the one. Six more yards. And that's going to be another first. It's going to be third down and goal. Doremus will come back in. So Burdett back to back plays and made something happen. Tuski looking to drive it into the end zone. Here's Owens. And he stopped, but he crosses the plane, did he? No, he didn't. They stopped him. What a great play. Looked like Darius Roberts was the first man there. And it'll be fourth down. And we've got a whistle. We got a whistle here. And we got an official's timeout. Well, well, there's no replay in the SIAC, so I don't know even if they would have tried to replay it. Wouldn't have gotten, wouldn't have gotten it. 
Fourth down and goal from the one. Draymond's quarterback sneak. Touchdown. Draymond's got in from a yard out. And it's a three-score game, 23-7. Extra point to come. Tuskegee has scored in his last four of his last five possessions. Arns to try the extra point. So Miles now really up against it. Early in the third quarter, still plenty of time, but Miles has not been able to get the ball into the end zone. Just the one punt return touchdown for Lee Anthony Robinson. And Arns' kick is good. Ramos, one yard run, his third touchdown of the day. Also has two passes for touchdowns. 24 7, Tuskegee on top of Miles. You're watching SIAC football on Flow Sports. Anthony Robinson with the return. Almost broke away in time, but he was ruled, uh, his forward progress was ruled stopped at the 25 yard line, so that is where Miles will have this possession trailing 24 7 after the one yard touchdown run by DeRamus on fourth and goal. 24 unanswered points by the Golden Tigers. Now the officials are discussing again. So Robinson, and they're going to replay this kick. I got a flag on the return. So you, you missed the kickoff return. Now you're going to get to see it. So, so we're offside, so they're going to redo it. Referee, I guess, was anticipating the, the the flag to be thrown. Already was at the ready. So now the kick from the 30-yard line. So Miles' field position should improve a little bit. 10:29 to play here in the third quarter. And as you might expect, the Tuskegee side up and jumping right now. And Robinson with another chance to return it. This one from the 16. And he just comes down to the 29-yard line. Looked like he slid down. Oh, watch out over there. And so they gain about four yards of a field position. And they'll start at the 30-yard line. 10-24 to play. Miles needs first downs. So they need big plays here. They're going to get back in this game. Defense has done as best as it can do, but Kenny Ginn has had such a big game and won't show up on the, the box score. Here's Hardy left side, and again, this Tuskegee defense just, it's so hard to run against Tuskegee's defense. I'll give him a yard on the play. It'll be second down. Leatherwood, Ramsher, and in the back, you got Devoris Thomas. He was the preseason defensive player of the year. So, a match of two top quarterbacks, two top linebackers. Right now, Tuskegee with the lead. Four wideouts for Miles. Second and nine. Another handoff to Hardy. Hardy right side. He finally breaks through. And he gets out to the 41-yard line, 10 yards for Hardy. So a little life there for the for the Miles offense. Second time Hardy has broken into the secondary. 13 carries for 53 yards. It has not been a good outing for him. It's been a tough outing for Hardy. He's had a couple of big runs. That last one for 10. Tension motion on first down. Three wide receivers for Miles. Smith off the play fake. Looking down the middle. Now going deep. Going for, for Campbell. Campbell makes the catch. Touchdown, Miles. 
just what the Golden Bears needed. Malik Campbell on senior day. 59 yards, and Miles is back on the scoreboard. So Malik Campbell, one of those seniors, senior day, the senior from Mobile, 59 yards, got behind the defense, and a huge play for the Miles offense. Spradlin's extra points is up and good. So, good answer by Miles. It is now 24 to 14. Smith to Campbell, 59 yards. You're watching SIAC Football on Flow Sports. Back here at Fairfield. Miles has cut the lead back down to 10. A 59 yard touchdown reception from Lee Campbell. So Miles was finally with something to cheer about. And giving up 24 unanswered. But now here comes Spradlin and his kickoff. Towards the sideline, this is Torian Taylor inside his own five. Taylor cuts up field and he's cut down near the 19 yard line. So they'll mark it at the 20, and that's where Tuskegee will start things off. The SIAC is the first NCAA league to have a league wide apparel deal with Nike. Fans can get official Nike conference gear at www.thesiac.com or official school gear at the BSN Sports Sideline store at sideline.bnsports.com. Dot com. So Miles capable of those big plays offensively. Finally got one as Malik Campbell got past the defense for a 59-yard reception. Smith now 8 of 19 for 120 yards. Big jolt in the offense on the last play. So Tuskegee now with its opportunity and it gives it to Gant. And this time Miles slows him down after the 21 yard line. So picks up a yard. It'll be bring up second down. And it's going to come down to this Miles defense if Miles is to win this game. He's got to start with getting defensive stops for Tuskegee. He's got to keep feeding Gant because at some point, as this game wears down, Gant might pop another one. Three wideouts for Tuskegee. Hand off to Gant. Gant trying to test the middle. Lost the football. He lost the football and coming back the other way is Mitchell Smiley, the linebacker, down the sideline. Touchdown, Miles. Mitchell Smiley. Gant lost the football. I didn't see who knocked it away. And Mitchell Smiley with the fumble recovery touchdown. Miles players, there are players everywhere on the field. Jalen Thomas is slow to get up. He might have been the man that knocked the ball away. And then Mitchell Smiley picked it up out of nowhere. I didn't see the ball even come out. All of a sudden, you see Smiley coming down the sideline. He dives in. He picked it up at about the, 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 the 20. It was Jalen Thomas who knocked it away. He's limping off the sideline. So, C.J. McClellan and Jalen Thomas forced the fumble. Mitchell Smiley, his fourth fumble recovery of the season. This one ends up in the end zone. So, Miles, back-to-back -back plays from scrimmage, get the touchdowns. It's a three-point game. It's a four-point game right now. And Spradlin will try the extra point. Oh, this game is completely turned around. Just a few minutes ago, Tuskegee had took a 24-7 lead. Two touchdowns in about two minutes. Snap down, kick on the way, and Spradlin knocks it through. So, so Miles has come back. They're within three. Tuskegee 24, Miles 21. 8.14 left in the third quarter. You're watching SIAC Football on Flow Sports. Back here at 
back here at Fairfield, Alabama, just a few moments ago, Tuskegee had a 17-point lead at 24-7. Back-to-back touchdowns for Miles, and now it's a three-point game. And this one will go into the end zone. It'll come out to the 25-yard line. So let's quickly go through what has happened. Madurena scored on a one-yard touchdown run. Then on the next possession, Malik Campbell with a 59-yard touchdown reception from Daniel Smith to make it 24-14. And just a moment ago, Mitchell Smiley, 20, a 20-yard fumble recovery touchdown. Smiley's fourth fumble recovery of the season. And with 8-14 left here in the third quarter. Tuskegee now nursing a three-point lead. Want that play clock pushed up to 40 seconds and they got it. So just when I thought that Tuskegee was on its way to a big win, got a big play from Campbell, then got a big play from the defense, and now it's up for grabs again. And Miles is the team jumping up and down the sideline. Here comes Gant again. I'm sorry, that's Phillip Brown. Phillip Brown on the first. Carey takes it out to the 29-yard line. Another tackle for Stevens. Four carries for 14 yards for Brown. Well, the number of close games that we've had this year. I had a feeling that we were going to end up in a tight game again today, especially with a championship on the line. Season ends for one of these two teams, and both teams are playing like it. Doremus the throw, going deep, down the field, going for Cheatham. Knocked down, incomplete, a flag is down, and this might go against, well, I'm not sure. Both sides are up. This might be interference the other way, so we'll find out. I was wrong the last time with Cheatham, him <laughs> to interference, so let's find out. Terry Beckham almost had another pick. Here's the call. Wow. There's been a lot of hand fighting and bumping and grinding between the two, between Beckham and Cheatham. This time, it is Beckham that is called for the personal foul. So just a 15-yard penalty, take it up to the, which actually should be on the 44-yard line. That play started at the 29. 15-yard penalty gets up to get a first down. First so the Golden Tigers will have it at the 44. And well, it's at the 49. That, that, that is not the correct spot, I believe. That that would make it 20. That would make it a 20-yard penalty. And should be at the 44, so they They've reset the ball now. So midway point of the third quarter. Tuskegee got a cheap 15 yards. Brown going right side. Hits the corner. Slides down. And they'll give him a couple to the 46-yard line. Fifth carry for Brown, so you figure the fresh legs with Philip Brown. Maybe a little change of pace. He's a very powerful back, sophomore from Bessemer. Came in with 20 carries on the season. And Brown, of course, last year as a freshman, had some had a couple of big games for Tuskegee. And their win against Morehouse. And he was really relied upon on short yardage, and here he is this time. Same situation. Here's second down play for Brown. Broke out of a tackle and down to the 49-yard line. We'll bring up third down. Three more yards for Brown. Brown Six carry for him. Shelton Shelton on the stop. Haven't called his name much today. Shelton, the sophomore, also from Bessemer. So I'm sure he's had some run-ins with Phillip Brown before. Third down and five. Got to get to the 46 of Miles for a first down. Defense. 
Ramos the throw over the middle. Pass is knocked down by Shade. And no flag is coming. Pass was trying to hit Stephen Hodges. And defense comes up with a stop. And Miles will get it back. Down by three. And Robinson coming back. He'll be standing at his own 15. Fourth punt for Tuskegee. And Robinson who's had a 90-yard punt return earlier. He won't get a chance to return this one. This is angling towards the sideline. And it was out of bounds. Let's see what they mark it as we get this possession started. It'll be at the 31. Fans Flow Sports this is the innovator of live digital sports and original content. Flow Sports streams thousands of live events on the network's 20-plus channels. Go to www.flowsports.tv to start watching the day. Flow Sports will exclusively stream over 50 SIAC football and basketball games this season. I was watching the EuroLeague on uh, flowhoops.com the other other day. Some pretty good basketball over there across the across the way. So from the 31 yard line, first down. 606 to play. And Smith off the play fake comes left side. And good tackle there by Ken Height, Jr. And Smith takes it to the 35 yard, 34 yard line will be a three yard pickup. We haven't seen Santee Marshall out of the backfield today. He does not have a carry. And Hardy, 53 yards on 13 carries so far. But Miles has the football. Third quarter. 534 to play. Three point lead for Tuskegee. Four wideouts for Miles. Hardy gets the handoff. Cuts right side, and Devoris Thomas is there at the 35 yard line. Fourteen carries now for 54 yards for Justin Hardy. It's going to be third and six from the 35-yard line. Smith again in that pistol formation. Four wide receivers. And Hardy moved early. Yep. It took a while for the referee to blow the whistle. And that penalty will take it back to the 30-yard line. It was going to be third and 11. So Justin Hardy, the, the, the junior from Homewood, a rare mistake on the pre-stat penalty for Justin Hardy. Four thirty left here in the third quarter. Third and 11. Got to get to the 41 for a first down. Smith to throw, pressure from the outside, pass caught by Tyree. Leonard Tyree, his first catch of the game, and it's going to be good for first down at the 44-yard line. That's a market around the 45-yard line. So give him about 15 on the play, and that's a big, big play there for Miles. Leonard Tyree, senior from Tuscaloosa. 15 more yards, first down. Smith to throw. Going up top. Going for Tyree again. It's incomplete. Hill with good coverage on the that sideline. Daniel Smith now 9 for 21 for 135 yards. Does Has thrown an interception. Does have a touchdown pass. Second down and 10. Sixth play of the drive coming up for Miles. Including that five-yard penalty from Hardy. Smith play fake. Has room to run. Right side. Slides down to the 45. They'll mark it at the 46. Nine yards on the run for Smith. Actually, I thought he slid down at the 45. I think Miles got a 
Tough spot right there. Miles fans not going to be happy about it, but it's third down in the yard for the Golden Bears. I thought he started his slide at the, the 45. It's where the official – usually it's where the official determines the slide begins, not necessarily where the, the ball is in that situation. But, but Smith did give himself up before the first down. So third and one, tension motion. Hardy, right side. Gets the first down. Ramsher and Gray combine on the tackle. But Hardy with five yards. It's been a rough day for Justin, but that's a first down. Clock now about to start running. Three minutes left here in the third quarter. So Miles, 14 unanswered points, completely turning this game around. And now another dog fight involving Miles. Four wide outs again. Smith off the play fake. Going up top for Tyree on the sideline, incomplete. I don't know if he would have been able to stay in bounds anyway. And we got extra stuff going on. We got an injured player, DJ Horn, and he is on the turf. So we'll take a break. 2.43 left here in the third quarter as they attend to DJ Horn. You're watching SIAC Football on Flow Sports. Smith now, second and ten. Horn was the injured player. And Hardy's hitting the backfield. Ricky Norris. Loss of two on the play for Hardy. Great play by Norris. He just shot the gap once again. And Hardy had nowhere to go. It's going to be third in about 12. Tyreen Robinson on the near side. Haven't heard from Robinson or Jacobs in the receiving game. Robinson with the punt return touchdown in the first quarter. Third down, four wideouts again. Campbell and Jacobs to the top. Robinson and Tyree to the bottom. Two minutes left here in the third quarter. Robinson goes in motion. And we've got a timeout taken by Miles. First timeout for Miles, two left. All roads lead to Birmingham for the 2018 SIAC Volleyball Championship from November 5th to the 7th. Follow the SIAC on social media at the SIAC for full coverage. Spring Hill, the Bears coming off that cross-country women's championship, trying to get a championship in volleyball. They're the number one seed in the West. They'll take on Benedict at 1 o'clock on Monday. That's at Bill Harris Arena. Number one seed in the East is Albany State. They'll take on Lemoyne Owen, the fourth seed out of the West at 10 a.m. So. Kentucky State, number two seed out of the West. Clark Atlanta, the number two seed out of the East. Clark Atlanta will take on the three seed out of the West, Tuskegee, at 1 o'clock. And Kentucky State, the two seed, will take on the three seed out of the East, Payne, at 10 a.m. at Bill Harris Arena. It is a double elimination format. Championship game. On Wednesday, start of our week of championships in the SIAC. Cross country title decided at Rock Hill yesterday, and of course, a week from today, it's either here or at Tuskegee. SIAC football championship will be decided. Third and 12, Robinson goes in motion. Smith looking to throw. Left side, Tyree makes the catch. He wasn't ready for it in the beginning, but he's got the catch at the 30 yard line. And that's going to be a first down. Second catch for Tyree. Both here in the second half. Another first down for Miles. Miles looking for the lead, or at least get himself in position to try to tie the game. 90 seconds left in the third quarter. Tuskegee showing blitz. Smith runs. Now he's going to throw it. Pass caught. That's Robinson. Robinson spins down at the 21. He's down to the 20 yard line. Anthony Anthony's first catch. It's going to be a nine yard pickup. Second down and one. So first com 
First reception for Robinson. And then Miles knocking on the door of the red zone. All right, now comes to Smith left on the second down play, final minute of the quarter. Tuskegee up by three. Hardy with the handoff. Right side, nice tackle. As Sean McGee made the stop at the 19. It will be a first down. Two more yards. It is enough for a first at the 19. 30 seconds left in the third quarter. And again, we're coming down to the wire with the West Championship on the line. Miles might run one more play in this third quarter. Four wideouts, four miles. Smith to throw. Looking. Right side, incomplete. Just threw it away. With nine seconds left in the third quarter. Kale Jacobs was the closest to the football. Smith now 11 for 25 for 157. And the touchdown to Campbell. Also has the interception to Warwick Stewart. Smith, the junior from Peoria, the junior college transfer. Starting quarterback for Miles has started every game this season. Smith off the fake, throws, passes, caught Jacobs up the field inside the 10, and he's down to the nine yard line. Mikhail Jacobs, and he just throws down Stewart at the end of the play, and he could have gotten. Uh, a penalty on the play. They'll mark it at the eight-yard line. It'll be first and goal. And that is the end of the third quarter. One quarter left for the SIAC West Championship. Tuskegee's up 24-21 on miles. You're watching SIAC football on Flow Sports. One quarter left, 15 minutes to play. The winner plays for the SIAC championship next week. Tuskegee up 24-21 on Miles. Miles has the ball, first and goal at the eight-yard line. Smith, the quarterback, four wide receivers. Miles looking for the lead after being down 24-7. It's a sun changing directions now headed towards its sunset sunsets on the season for one of these two teams Smith looking to throw throwing right side it is almost picked off by Hike incomplete It'll be second and goal this is the 16th play of the drive coming up Tavius Tench, the intended target. Second and goal from the eight. Tension motion again. Hand off to Hardy. Hardy trying the right side. Nothing doing. Gets down to the seven yard line. Pick up a yard. It is third and goal. Eighteenth play of the drive. Seventeenth play of the drive coming up. Boy, Miles, you'd love to. Your Miles, you'd love to get in the end zone if you did Tuskegee. You'd love to force a field goal after this long drive, which started with 6:06 to play in the third quarter. Miles has had almost seven minutes. Third and goal from the seven. Tension motion again. Off the play fake. Smith looking. Going to run. No, he's going to throw at the last second. It's knocked away by Stewart. What a play by Rorick Stewart. Campbell saying he was open. And now it will be a field goal. The Miles fans <laughs> upset with Smith on that last incompletion. Maybe they thought Smith could have run it in, but
but he decided at the last moment to throw it. And now Spradlin will come in. A 24-yard attempt. This is to tie the game. Miles has had its issues with kicks this season. Snap down. Kick. Low line drive. He got it. And the game is tied. 24-yard field goal by Jackson Spradlin. The game is tied at 24. 13.52 to play in the fourth quarter. You're watching SIAC football on Flow Sports as we have an injured Golden Bear on the field. Thirteen fifty-two to play, fourth quarter. Game tied at twenty-four. Winner plays in the SIAC championship next week as the West representative. It will host it. it will host Albany State. And uh, Albany State looking to finish off uh, seven straight wins. It has done so, 40-6 to six over Fort Valley State. Benedict with an 18-0, looks like it's going to be 18-0 victory over Kentucky State. And Clark Atlanta with a win over Morehouse earlier today. The other three games that were going on. This kick stopped short. That's a live ball. It's picked up by Perdette at the 16. He's going the wrong way, and he's tackled inside the 10. Leotis Washington, also I think Christian Mays was in on the stop at the nine-yard line. So with 13.46 to play, Tuskegee will start at the nine-yard line. So Tuskegee's offense has been on the sideline for quite a while. That last drive took over seven and a half minutes. Game tied at 24. Doremus under center. I give it to Owens, and Owens is stuck early. Looked like that was McClellan with another tackle. Owens got to the 11-yard line. Pickup of two. Third carry of the game for Owens. Golden Bears down 24-7 at one point. Tuskegee had 24 unanswered points. But now has found itself tied up with the Golden Bears. Second down. Here's Gant. Gant has had a huge game today. Gant breaks a tackle across the 15. And he gets out to the 17-yard line. Finally stopped. Looks like Kendrell Walker. Picks up six more. 19 carries for 158 for Kenny Gant. He has done his job this afternoon. You know, there's another big game involving a team from the state of Alabama today. Featuring two of the top three teams in the first college football playoff poll. Alabama and LSU later on tonight, but we've got a pretty good one here in Fairfield. That game, of course, in Baton Rouge. There's Doremus, and Doremus is stopped at the 17. No gain on the play. So that was third down. Second carry of the game for Doremus, and Miles will get the ball back. This Miles defense, after that touchdown pass by Malik Campbell, they have just exploded against that Tuskegee offense. And again, Tuskegee having these lulls every now and then of just not being able to move the ball. Robinson already has a punt return touchdown in this game, standing back inside his own 45. He'll get a chance to return this one at the 48. Tries to reverse his field. And that won't work as a great coverage by this Tuskegee special teams. He is down at the 45-yard line. That is where Miles will start this possession. U.S. Best News recently released its list of the top 10 HBCUs and four SIAC schools from the top 15 with eight in the top 50. 
The SIAC prides itself on being a league whose institutions develop strong minds geared for success through self-actualization, building tradition with the future since 1913. This is the SIAC, and we play hard. Of course, these two teams have exemplified that all season long, and it comes down to the final 11 minutes and 30 seconds for Miles and Tuskegee. Here's Hardy, left side, and he runs into a wall known as Khalil Gray. No gain on the play. Miles with good field position here. At zone 45, second down and 10 now. One of these two teams will host Albany State. Albany State, seven straight wins. And Albany State beat Miles 30-24 to in September. And lost to Tuskegee 20 to nothing in the Whitewater Classic. That was the second week of the season. Smith looking to throw. Over the middle. Pass is incomplete. Two guys were there. Tinch and Jacobs. And neither one can come down with the football. It's going to be third down. But every throw, every, every run, every yard, so critical as we head down the stretch. They really have not gotten their big plays over the middle. It's been up the sidelines. It shows you how good this, this secondary is for Tuskegee. Miles needs a big play here for his offense. Tuskegee needs a big play for the defense. Smith on third down, under pressure, gets it away. It's incomplete, and it's going to be fourth down. Whistle didn't blow, and Norris comes up with it. Wait a minute, that was an incomplete pass. I thought that was an incomplete pass. They're going to call it a fumble. Smith's arm was going forward. No, now they say incomplete. Oh, my goodness. I couldn't believe that they called that a fumble. That was a heads-up play by Norris because he did not hear a whistle, and the referee was running with Norris back the other way. And if Smith doesn't make that tackle, if they don't call that incomplete. Tuskegee has the lead. But heads-up play by Smith and a heads-up play by Norris, it's going to be fourth down. This is not – there's no replay in the SIAC, so – well, I tell you, Ricky Norris, that was a heads-up play. Veteran player, but it is called an incomplete pass. Fair catch called for and made by Petway at the 16-yard line. Boy, that was... Boy, that is Miles fans. I think we're about to, about to storm the field. Not the way that you want to if... If that play did not go their way, so Tuskegee now with the ball at zone 17 yard line, 10:30 to play here in the fourth quarter, and we've got another close one here. All season long, we have had terrific games. Well, who's going to blink first? That's going to be the question. Miles defense has played well. How much does this have left after that emotional win last week? And for Tuskegee, desperate for a win after losing to Central State last week. West Championship on the line, 10.30 to go. And the handoff goes to Gant again. And Gant, who has had a terrific day, gets out to the 20-yard line. <laughs> 20 carries now for 161 yards. He's had runs of 19, had a run of 16. Well, two 16-yard runs. He's also had a run of 15. That last one was for three. In the second half, he's only got 12 yards here in the second half. Here's Gann again. Breaks a tackle. Watch out. Oh, good tackle by Shade. You can just feel, you can just feel it, Gant, trying to break another one. It's after the 28-yard line. It's going to be a first down for Tuskegee. Eight more yards. 21 carries now for Gant. You can see everyone kind of holding their breath there a little bit after he broke that first tackle. 
Under nine and a half minutes to play now. Doremus on first down, looking down the middle, has a man, it's incomplete and almost picked off. Well stepped in front of Cheatham. And almost, I'm oh, sorry, that was Ramsey. And almost got an interception. Doremus now 10 for 20 for 138. And two touchdowns. So third down, second down and ten. I'm sorry, second and ten for Tuskegee. Three wideouts again for the Golden Tigers. Doremus to throw. Looking deep. Throws up the sideline. He's got a man. It's Johnson. It's incomplete. Kendra Walker again with the coverage. No flag down. Tuskegee, I'm sure, is looking for one. But Walker was there just as Johnson was going up for the football. Now it's third down. 9.03 to play. Ramos, third down, handoff, Gant, left side, Stevens is there. Austin Stevens, and that's going to be a loss back to the 30, the 25-yard line. And it's going to be fourth down, loss of three for Gant. That's the first time he's been tackled for a loss in this game. And now Miles will have two players going back, Campbell and Robinson. Three straight punts for Tuskegee on his possessions. All the punt for the seventh time today. Hall's kick, angling towards the sideline. And Robinson touched it. He picks it up, and he's tackled at the 32-yard line. So almost a mistake there for Lee Anthony. And that's where... Miles will start things off. So the winner of this game, a week from today, will host the SIAC championship game against Albany State. It'll be at 2 o'clock local time, which will be central time. Of course, it'll be the third championship of the fall. Volleyball championship decided on will be decided on Wednesday, and cross country took place yesterday in South Carolina. So first down from the 32. 8-12 to play. And Hardy gets the handoff, cuts it back outside. And he's out across the 35 to the 36. Four yards for Hardy. and hasn't been the best day. 20 carries for 64 yards, but 64 critical yards. Miles is trying to get something from its Running game. Snyder coming off to the sideline. So, second down. Hardy in the backfield. Four receivers. Once again for Miles. Smith. Stops. And he's sacked. Terrence Leatherwood. And he's down. They're marking at the 26-yard line. A 10-yard loss. First sack of the game for either team. And Leatherwood with his seventh sack of the season. It's going to be third down and 16. Four wideouts. It's Hardy. Hardy right side. Across the 30. Got back near the original line of scrimmage after the 32-yard line. But Miles will have to punt again. Six yards for Hardy. 
21 carries for set for 69 yards. But now, Tuskegee looking to get great field position here. 6.40 to play here in the fourth quarter. Tied at 24. That's the snap, and it's and he falls on it at the 12-yard line. Jake Anderson unable to hold on to the football, and Tuskegee is in business. Boy, you have – how about that? And it was a perfect – it was a great snap. Anderson just dropped it. He just could not hold on to it. And Tuskegee now in prime position to take the lead. Well, Miles had a, a critical fumble late against Clark Atlanta and still came back to win. So you never know what's going to happen here. Well, we do. Well, we got flags on the play. And it looks like it's going to go against Tuskegee. Goes back to the 17 yard line. So, first and 15. 6.29 to play. Fourth quarter. Game tied at 24. Jake Anderson off the fumble. He does fall on it, but he fell on it at the 12 yard line, and then Tuskegee back to the 17. Dream is back in now. Here's Gant. Stevens uh, able to get just enough of them to make the tackle to the 16-yard line. It's going to be second down. And we've got an injured player. It's Justice Owens, the fullback. He's been leading the way for Kenny Gant. 6-18 to play in the fourth quarter. The game is tied at 24. They'll send Owens off to the sideline. And they'll bring the teams right back onto the field. So Albany State, 7-3, 6-0 SIAC play. The game against Tuskegee didn't count towards the conference record. So second and 14. And of course, Albany State beat Miles earlier this season, 30-24. Miles actually has lost four games by six points or less. One in four in such games. Here's Gant, left side, and again he's thrown for a loss. Jamari Smith, also Jalen Thomas, made the stop. It's going to be a four-yard loss. So Gant has not had the big runs that he's had in the first half. They've done a good job on him in the second half. And so it's a big third down here for Tuskegee. Lawrence hit from 45 to end the first half. He missed from 31. We've got 5.43 to play. Three wide receivers, Hodges and Cheatham to the top, Ramsey to the bottom. Third down. Doremus under pressure, throws incomplete. And that will force a field goal attempt. I didn't see who it was throwing to. Andre McCurry with the pressure. And so now it's going to be Arns again to attempt the attempt the field goal. Then Raymond's got hit up, up high. Maybe Tuskegee. Miles is going to call another timeout. They'll be down to one remaining. The SIAC is the first league, NCAA league, to have a league-wide apparel deal with Nike. Fans can get official Nike conference gear at, the S at www.thesiac.com or official school gear at the BSN Sports Sideline store at sideline.bsnsports.com. So we've got 527 to play here in the fourth quarter. It is fourth down. Looks like Husky Arns is going to come out to attempt a 37-yard field goal from his left. Arns is one for two. He made one from 45 to end the half. He's missed from 31. So 
This one right in between that mark. Can he give Tuskegee the lead? And a possible SIAC West Championship. Beckham coming on late. 37 yards. Snap. Kick on the way. It's good. So Husky Orange from 37 yards out gives Tuskegee a three-point lead. And we've got 523 to go here in the fourth quarter. You're watching SIAC football on Flow Sports. Arns, 20, 37-yard field goal. And lead is now 27-24 in favor of Tuskegee after 17 unanswered by Miles. And Dalton Hall's kick. This is going to be, it better be somebody. It's Robinson inside his own 10. Robinson trying to get to the outside. He's got room. Breaks it out to the 30-yard line. So Miles will start this drive at its own 30. 5-14 to play here in the fourth quarter. What a way to end season-long coverage of SIAC football on Flow Sports. And we'll have basketball schedule out on flowhoops.com soon but what a season so another offside penalty and what Tuskegee's going to have to work on that if they have a chance to next week because again the SIAC West is on the line so after the mishap on the offside penalty and Robinson almost making a mistake there Miles has it at the 35, 65 yards away from the lead. And who knows what the way the kicking game is gone. Spradlin hit from 24 earlier. Four wideouts. Flea flicker. Smith going deep. Looking for Tyree. Tyree's out of bounds. It's incomplete. Two hats came out immediately. Benedict tried that a couple weeks ago against Clark Atlanta, and it worked out. That time, Tyree was out of bounds, second down and 10. So, Miles going into the bag of tricks. That time, could not complete the pass. 5.07 to play. Miles is down to one timeout. Tuskegee has all three of their timeouts. Play fake. Smith. Throws it to Jacobs. Jacobs makes the catch across the 40, out near the 45-yard line. And that's where they'll mark it. That'll be a first down. That's the first reception for Jacobs today. The hero from – so that's the second reception of the day. He was the hero in the Miles victory last week. 11 more yards – I'm sorry, 10 yards out to the 45. First down. Smith looks over to the sideline. Four and a half minutes to play. Hardy gets the handoff. And again, this Tuskegee defense. My goodness, a run defense for Tuskegee. Leatherwood, Thomas, Norris right there. Lost a yard. Hardy now down to 68 yards on 22 carries. Second and 11 now from the 44. Four minutes to go. Winner plays for the SIAC championship next week. Play fake. Smith throws. Jacobs can't make the catch. Bounced off his hand. And it's going to be third down. We got a flag down at the end of the play. Right in the middle of the field. And he's looking at Tuskegee. That's going to be against Miles. So 
So a chop block, Scroggins and Williams call for a legal chop block. And this is going to take it all the way back. Should be inside the 30-yard line. Well, you kind of, it was going to be third down and 11. I'm a little surprised they took that penalty. You give Miles another play. I don't know. I, I might have, I might have take, I might have uh, declined that penalty, and only given Miles one more opportunity. Maybe you think you get a little bit better. It is a 15-yard penalty, so the field position probably more important at this point. 3:40 to go here in the four. Smith looking to throw over the middle. Pass complete. And that is Campbell. Campbell down to the 36-yard line. So still going to make it a difficult uh, third down. Seven yards on the play. Second catch. Still third long here, third and 25. That's third and uh, third and 19. Three minutes to play. Smith trying to draw Tuskegee offside. Clock is moving. And Miles disadvantage. Big play here. Smith looking to throw. Under pressure. Now throws. Tyree slides and makes the catch at the 42-yard line. Leonard Tyree. 22 yards on the reception. And Tyree with his third catch of the game all here in the second half. Big play by Leonard Tyree, the senior from Tuscaloosa. 2.38 to play. He knew Miles was not going to give up. <laughs> he knew Leonard Tyree was who he was going to go to. Here's Smith off the play fake. Pass caught by Robinson and hit immediately by Darnell Hill at the 35-yard line. Seven yards for Robinson. Second and three. Two eleven and counting left here in the fourth quarter. Another barn burner, but this one is for the for the division championship. Two minutes left. Second and three. Thirty-five yard line. Four wideouts for Miles. Play clock inside of ten. Smith, play fake. Hardy with the block. Smith's going to run for it. Inside the 30. Skips out of bounds to the 26-yard line. So good decision there. That's going to be a first down. 145 to play. One timeout left for Miles. They mark it at the 26-yard line. Nine yards on the run. And we're going to have a timeout. All roads lead to Birmingham for the 2018 SIAC Volleyball Championship from November 5th to the 7th. Follow the SIAC on social media at the SIAC for full coverage. And all eyes are on the Western Division as the champion will earn the chance to host the 8th Annual SIAC Championship game next Saturday. Fans visit www.thesiac.com for official conference and championship game gear. So 145 to play here in the fourth quarter. One of these two teams will host that game next week. The loser's season is finished. Miles started the season 0-5. Has won three out of four. So many heartbreaking games. So many heart-wrenching finishes. And for Tuskegee, an, a subpar season by Tuskegee standards. And looking at this team, it's amazing they're four and five. But with 145 to play. Miles with a chance to take the lead. Tuskegee needs a defensive stop to send itself to the championship game. Is it Miles or is it Tuskegee? We're going to find out. Four wide out. Smith on first down. Hardy again. This defense so tough to run against. Hardy on the carry. He lost a yard to the 27. 
90 seconds to go. Miles needs a field goal to tie. But they're thinking about a touchdown. At least at this point. Fans standing all over Sloan Stadium. Around the edge of the track. Down to 112 to go and counting. Smith. Four wide receivers. Play fake. Smith. Going left side for Tyree. Cut. Touchdown, Miles. Leonard Tyree does it again. No flags. 27 yards. When they need a big play, they go to number three. The senior delivers. Now this is an important extra point because it would force Tuskegee to need a touchdown. Spradlin in for the extra point. Here's the kick. On its way, and he's got it. So he will need the touchdown. 57 seconds to play here in the fourth quarter. Tuskegee, uh, Tuskegee now down. 31-27 of miles. You're watching SIAC football on Flow Sports. Here's the kickoff, 57 seconds left. Tuskegee has two timeouts remaining. Down by four, needing a touchdown to win the game and send itself to the SIAC title game. Spradlin's kick. Petway will have it at the 10. Here he comes. Ladero to the 25 yard line with 53 seconds to play. Beckham on the tackle. Over well, Tuskegee, you need first downs. You have to stop the clock, stop the clock twice more, so you have all the field to work with. And for Miles, how much does this defense have left? It's been on the field a lot today. And now they've got four plays at least to send Miles to the SIAC championship. A game we had, we expected a game like this when a championship is on the line. You hope for games like this. So we've got a great game once again to close out our schedule this season. Albany State awaiting the winner of this game. Doremus looking to throw on first down, going deep up the sideline. Cheatham, he's got it at the 46. Cheatham a little push off there off Beckham, but it's going to be good. That's good for 22 yards and a first down to the 46. 22 more yards for Doremus. Cheatham with his third reception of the game. 40 seconds left from the 46 yard line. Doremus back to throw, looking, and he throws it away. Second and 10 from the 47. We haven't really seen Tuskegee take, well, we've seen Tuskegee take deep shots, but they haven't really done much over the middle. It's been along the sideline, similar to Miles. They've gotten a couple of times they've gotten inside, but not much. They've got 31 seconds on the clock. Tuskegee 53 yards away from glory. Doremus, middle, incomplete, almost intercepted, and no flags. Two plays left, looking for Johnson. Miles two plays away from the championship. Tuskegee 10 yards away from moving the chains. 26 seconds to play. Another dramatic come from behind win for Miles, or can Tuskegee pull one out in the final minute? 26 seconds on the clock. Doremus, third and 10. Left side, incomplete. Tried to hit Ramsey, and he could not get it there. And this will be the ball game, fourth and 10. 
21 seconds to play. Right now, time really, the, the down and distance is more important than the time right now. They've got to get the first down. Then they maybe put itself in position for a game winner. And I've seen two walk-off touchdowns this year. The offense in the situation, you just want to give yourself an opportunity. Getting a first down would do just that for Tuskegee. Miles is one and one in this situation. Here it comes, fourth down. Doremus steps up, throws, incomplete. Miles will take over, and Miles, with everything that has happened to them this season, an 0 and 5 start. Close losses, and Miles is going to head to the SIAC championship, and for Tuskegee. Heartbreaking losses in the final two weeks with a chance to put away the West Division t Championship. And well, I tell you what, I would not want to be Albany State next week because they're going to get a tough, tough ball game right here at Sloan Stadium. What a season. And it comes down to Miles pulling it out. Still two timeouts left for Tuskegee. Reginald Ruffin <laughs> tossing a water bottle all around. And just looks like it's going to be one nil down, and that's going to end it. Senior day comes down to the senior. Leonard Tyree comes through, and the Miles Golden Bears have won the West. 31-27 over Tuskegee. And there's the water for Reginald Ruffin, and he has no problem taking that bath as he will come together with head coach Willie, Slade, Willie Slater. Tuskegee season ends at 5-5. Five and five. Miles advances to take on Albany State for the SIAC championship game next Saturday. When we come back, we'll wrap this up, wrap up the season here on Flow Sports. 31-27, the final score. Miles over Tuskegee. You're watching SIAC football on Flow Sports. Back here at Fairfield, Alabama to wrap things up here. Miles with a 31-27 win over Tuskegee. Leonard Tyree's 27-yard touchdown reception with just over a minute to go. With gets it done for Miles here on senior day. So Miles will advance to take on Albany State next week. Miles 4-6 and six on the season. Albany State 7-3. and three. Tuskegee falls 2-5-5. Two, five five. What a season it has been with Flow Sports. And a great, great game to close out the schedule. So... For the camera people that have worked well all throughout the season, no matter where we've been, whether it's been here or in Atlanta or in Albany, I am Kamari Darrington along with James Crenshaw in the truck. He does a terrific job every time he's the producer. We thank him as well, and we thank you all for joining us all season long. So Kamari Darrington saying so long from Sloan Stadium here in Fairfield. Once again, the final score, Miles 31, Tuskegee 27. This has been SIAC Football on Flow Sports. We'll see you during basketball season.